That's me, Zuri Brown. My life was beautiful. I had a career I loved, supportive family, loyal friends, a good man. I had it all, and I didn't even know it. Now, sit back and watch as I torch it all. portfolio is banging and you have delivered for every single client you've ever had this is just a bigger room a bigger house with a bigger budget then he said to them beware and be on your guard against every form of greed for not even when one has an abundance does his life consist of his possessions you got this <sighs> wish i would have studied my bible more Zigzagging all over my lawn. Now, now don't be getting creative on it. My, my lawn's not your campus. What's that, Mr. Brown? Don't play with me, Stefan. Uh, straight line. Let's talk to you about before Zuri gets here. I'm all ears. What's that? I said I'm all ears. Huh? I am all. Punk. trying to reach you. We, we've got a problem. I hear you, Rochelle. Godfrey and I are working on a solution as we speak. In fact, she's just pulling in right now. Glad to hear that. We've been bringing in a lot of cash. We've made how much? More than double what we projected. Already? So what's the problem? Viv, I'm talking six figures of Medicaid billing that we need to funnel immediately. The longer it stays in company accounts, the more attention we attract with the IRS. Half the residents we're claiming on are already ghosts. Hmm. I must say, I've had worse problems than making too much money. It's a problem if there's nowhere to hide it. What about Don? Hmm. Adding the invoices for landscaping the grounds of Sunny Mead were great. We could use this firm again to... Don isn't a friend we can trust anymore. So I, uh, severed ties. But we need to move the money. I can't keep it for much longer. Rochelle, I am already two steps ahead on this. Just make sure you keep it moving on your end, okay? Okay, let's talk about it later. Yeah, I'll call you back. <sighs> Miss Anderson. Yeah, I'm quite aware. Miss Anderson's been held up on a call. She sends her apologies. Follow me, take you through to the drawing room. Careful. The floor was polished just yesterday. Right. Thanks for the heads up. Another one of my paintings just sold at that gallery downtown I told you about. Oh, yeah? So you good enough to quit your day job? Nah, nah, I still gotta work that construction gig for now. It was a nice sale and all, but I'm uh, not exactly Gahinda Wiley. Uh, he's an artist. Did that Obama portrait? Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> but I uh, did earn enough for this. It's beautiful. Barely a carrot, designed it myself. You think she'll like it? She'd be a fool not to. I knew that this wouldn't feel right without your blessing. You're the only family she's got. I think of you as a son already. Thank you for trusting me. Mm. So, 
I was thinking, right here, a fresco. Mm -hmm. Huge, like in some of the European houses. All the same. Stay. Mm. I mean, girl, I'm old, not dead. <laughs> but when I saw the adorable nursery you did for Annabelle Cartwright's granddaughter, I demanded your number on the spot. Thank you. I went to college with her daughter, Laura, so it just felt really special to help her get ready to be a mom. Oh. Wow. You have such an amazing library. I love to read, too. Yeah. Books showed me the world, possibilities. A gift close to my heart, a gift I'd like to share with others. Read this? <clears throat> yeah. Borrow it. You know, right here could be a reading nook. Upholstered in velvet, a touch of damask, but nothing too heavy. We want to keep it fresh and feminine. I love all of your designs and ideas, so I'm going to commission you. So let's start in the drawing room and we'll see where we go from there. How quickly did you want this turned around? The budget allowed for a little bit of fat, but I'm sure I could crunch the numbers and make it... Mm, mm, mm. Don't worry about budget. Just get me the best of everything. Let's have some tea. And when I say tea, I mean the kind that comes in a bottle and a popping cork. <laughs> hmm? That sounds wonderful. Okay. To health, wealth, and... Mm. Has this house always been in your family? Girl, I grew up in a shack in Nowheresville, Georgia. Really? Mm-mm, really. <laughs> so then your husband? Mm, no. Never married. I was about your age when I made a vow to live life on my own terms. Wow. You have a man? <laughs> kids? No kids, but I have a man, Stefan. We've been together for three years. Well, what does Stefan do? He's an artist. Oh, what I know? He graduated from Pratt, so very talented. But, um, you know, the art world is tough to get into. So right now he does construction. Right now? Turns into a couple more months. Turns into a couple more years. Turns into a lifetime. I'm not sure what you mean. Has anyone ever told you to work smart, not hard? It's OK to want more. Here, had my chef make this especially, macarons. Mm. <laughs> there goes my paleo. Forbidden fruit always tastes the sweetest, dear. Eat up. <laughs> You're the one who's making the money now. You chef. Huh? <laughs> hey. Oh. Hey. Hey, hey. I got the gig. Yes. Oh. Come on. Mm. I'm not hungry. I had afternoon tea with Miss Viv. Mm -hmm. Afternoon tea, huh? Mm -hmm. So who's Miss Viv and uh, what's the gig? She has this incredible house in Baltimore, uh -huh. and she's commissioned me to do the drawing room. Uh, the drawing room? What, is she from <laughs> Mars? Yeah. No, she's from the South. Self-made. Owns a chain of care homes. Hmm. Well, maybe she got a little spot here for Oscar. Maybe she's got a son for Zuri. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. If all goes well with the drawing room, she'll commission me to do more rooms. And trust me, there's yeah. plenty. You know, with the extra money coming in, Daddy, I was hoping that maybe I could help out a little bit more. Maybe get you a nurse. I'm fine. I will not have you spending money but on Daddy, me. Daddy, we could maybe get a chairlift. I said, I'm fine. Hmm? Okay. Yeah? Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Fine. No, you're okay. always doing... Oh, Lord. Thanks, babe. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
Okay, try this next one. I want to go up in the bull. Sound it out, Russ. You're doing great. Balloon. Uh, balloon. Oh, balloon. <laughs> Boom. You got it. Oh, I can't read, but even I know this book is as boring as hell. <laughs> Rick Slim. Mm. Sounds like a rapper. He's a novelist. Was a pimp, but mad smart. You know, his books are real gritty, all about street life and hustling and all that. Sorry to interrupt, but we've got a visitor. Please extend a warm welcome to Godfrey Anderson. He's just been appointed to chair our board of trustees. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you guys for letting me be a part of your session this evening. Uh, Godfrey, could you tell us a little about yourself? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, aside from being the newly appointed chair of the Baltimore Literacy Foundation, which I am really excited about, uh, I chair a few other nonprofits. I have several other businesses, which keeps me very, very busy. Uh, let's see, downtime. I love to cook. Yeah. Cook for me any day. Good stuff. Thank you, Godfrey. Yeah. Yeah, but how about y'all? I mean, you're taking this step to empower yourselves, and that just uplifts the entire community. I'm in awe, really. Thank you. Thank you. Tyrone, I was hoping you could share your story. Yeah. I'm Tyrone, most of y'all know me. Born and bred right here in Baltimore, Lakewood Heights. Long story short, my mom died when I was real young. I bounced around group homes and ended up dropping out of school. Got caught up in some bad stuff and wound up doing a bid. I was 19, couldn't read or write. The Baltimore Literacy Foundation were running some courses at the pen with the help of Zuri, Rima, Charles, and other volunteers. I got my literacy up to a level where I could enroll on a GED course. So I went to night school, graduated, 4.0 GPA. Really? So after a year of community college, everyone here encouraged me to apply to other colleges. They said if I got in, they grant me a scholarship. So I did. And next semester, I'm transferring to Morgan State College. Wow. 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 Hey, we got out late. I'm not gonna have time to make it home and change. I've got a dress and I'm changing in the car, but I need shoes. Can you bring me a pair? Just pick any pair you like. I'm wearing a black dress, so you can't go wrong. Love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you. I was talking to some people from the group and I saw you walk by and damn, you walk fast. <laughs> but I, I saw you get in the car, but I never saw you leave and I just want to make sure you're okay. I, I'm, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. You look really, really good. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm on my way to a dinner and I didn't have time to go home and change and I just had a dress and the car. Yeah. Hi. I'm Zuri. Zuri. I know. <laughs> oh, so nice. Uh, look, so, so how long have you volunteered there? Off and on since college. Really? Karima and Charles are, are like family now. I just, I just love are. being a part of it. How, how did you hear about us? Well, I escorted my cousin to a fundraiser a few months back. I met some members of the board, and here we are. I'm surprised I didn't see you there because I would have definitely remembered you. Only the bigwigs get invited to those events, not us lowly volunteers. Really? Well, that changes as of now. In fact, we're having an event in a few days, and after seeing Tyrone, I'm more determined to pull in as much support as we can. Yeah. Uh, that's my direct contact right there, and you can drop me an email or a text. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And, and feel free to invite your partner, your friend, or... Oh, where's it gonna be? It's actually at my cousin's house. She's she's redecorating, and <laughs> between you and me, I'm, I'm sensing a strong motivation to help a great charity and an equally strong motivation for her just to show off her swag. So. <laughs>
I'm actually an interior designer. You, you wouldn't happen to know who's doing the revamp, would you? She uh, found someone through her friend's sister's cousin's something. Uh, it had something to do with a nursery she saw. Wait. That... Is your cousin Cassandra Vivian Anderson? The one in the same. You know her? What? You're the decorator. <laughs> I'm the decorator. You're the decorator. <laughs> yes. Miss Vivian is amazing. Wow. Yeah, yeah, she's a powerhouse, but what 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 beautiful synchronicity. Really? I, well, look, I know you got to get to your dinner, and uh, please make sure you come. Good night. Good night. Hey, babe. You have the shoes? Mmm. You got <laughs> dinner at 8 and you running from the cops at 10. We gonna be all right. You're clowning me, right? You told me to grab a pair of light. Sir Fawn, these were never meant to see the light of day outside of our bedroom. And that was a one-time thing. Because you look good in them. And you told me you were wearing a black dress. And, and so I thought... You thought that I would want to go to a birthday dinner for my best friend's doctor husband dressed like I just left Magic City. Stefan, what were you thinking? I got you. That's not funny. You're going to be all right. You play too much. Thank you. Let's go. Everyone, this is Zuri and Stefan. Hey. Clifton, Josh, hey. Rita, and Marla. Hi. Zuri and Audra were roommates in college. Oh. Zuri, I'm sure you see a few familiar faces here. <laughs> yes, so sorry we're late. <laughs> oh, Thanks, have guys. a seat. That's wonderful. Thank you. Hey. I have to Dive in, everybody. Oh, so you would have imagined it. <laughs> Incredible beaches. Uh, bring the wife and kids. Really? Yeah. Even better on the company dime. <laughs> <laughs> my, my folks are actually from the island. Have you been? One of these days. The uh, holiday fun always seems to end up turning into something like the rent fun. <laughs> That's not true. We should celebrate the paintings you just sold. You're an artist. That's what they tell me on the building site. Yes, he is an artist. He has some pieces right now at the Araminta Webster Gallery. Yeah, everyone, meet my publicist. Okay. <laughs> uh, sculpture, paintings? Oil on canvas. He just got a review that said he's like Basquiat meets Monet. My work can be a little abstract, sure, but that article is lazy. What I like about oil and canvas is the... Yeah, but the painting sold for like $3,000. <laughs> Maybe Basquiat meets Monet isn't such a bad thing, babe. You know, if I only hang up the... Hard hat and high vis, start making some real cash. Who's ready for dessert? Mm. You know, my firm's refurbishing offices. We're looking for some artworks. Maybe I could get your card. Yeah, um, I don't have a card, but uh, I could give you my number. I'd love to show you some of my pieces. Here, take mine. He's way too laid back about these kinds of things. I'll make it happen. Yeah, what can I say? My girl has a lot more hustle than me. Ugh, you're no fun. Cut it out, Zuri. I'm not in the mood. What do you mean, not in the mood? What was all that stuff about at dinner? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. What, are you my agent now? Why are you so mad? Honey, I'm just proud of you. You're the exact opposite of proud. Why do you always have to act so humble, huh? Just fake it until you make it, Stefan. Anyone would think that you don't want to be successful. Yeah, well, maybe I don't define my success by the amount of zeros in my bank balance. Well, it's a good thing you don't. You humiliated me at dinner. You graduated from one of the top art schools in this country. You're not humiliated working at a building site? Lately, all you talk about is money and how you can get more of it. 
It's called ambition. Nah, it's called being a fake ass wannabe. And you know what? It's ugly as hell. I'm sleeping down here tonight. Enjoy the bed. Hi. Too hot. They're investigating Willowbrook Residential right now. I spoke with a friend of mine who works there, and she says, you can't move for auditors who are looking everywhere and at everything, and they're clean. Well, Medicaid billing accounts for, what, 45% of our revenue? I'm not going to jail for you or anybody. Don't get greedy, Godfrey. We have to make up the deficit. <laughs> Impossible. You can't... Can we try, Rochelle? Look. We can put our contracts up for tender. We can tell the existing service providers that, hey, your competition, they're coming in cheaper than you. We can cut back on staffing costs, Rochelle, but we need capital. You're stretched to breaking, Godfrey. That's how I know you're gonna make it work. Mm-hmm. You will make it work. And we'll meet again next week, and you will update me on your progress. Come in, Pat. Have a seat. You're still here. Your shift finished an hour ago. You know we don't pay unauthorized overtime. I know. One of my residences was upset. I wanted to make sure she was okay before I left. So, what can I do for you? The paperwork with several of my Medicaid clients doesn't add up. Look, right here, we're billing for hospice care and a bunch of tests they don't need. Pat, I've worked in residential. It doesn't add up. Well, I appreciate concern, but what I'm saying is that I'm sure it's simply been an administrative error. Nothing to cause alarm. Uh, leave the paperwork with me and I'll look into it, okay? Okay. Um, should I close the door? No, no, I have an open door policy. What an amazing client to land. You have arrived, Zuri. Girl, I'm just getting started. You can never have too much. That's so. Why didn't Stefan want to come? Ugh. He said it wasn't his thing. It's like all we do is fight lately. Anyway, I'm just glad I get to spend time with my girl. Mm -hmm. By the way, did you speak to Marla about the him showing his paintings? Yeah, I'm working her. He'll get his shot. Good evening, Baltimore. Can I have your attention, please? That's right, come on in. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. It's really great to see so many familiar faces hidden behind masks. <laughs> but all jokes aside, we are here to highlight the work of the Baltimore Literacy Foundation. Tonight, you can save lives. Every cent will go towards uplifting individuals in our city so that they too can become their best selves. Each one, teach one. Thank you. Thank you so much. Zuri, <laughs> I'm glad you came. Great speech. Uh, Audra, this is Godfrey. Go you look a little lost. I'm looking for my girlfriend. Oh, well, maybe I can help you. I'm Cassandra Vivian Anderson. Everyone calls me Miss Viv. Miss Viv. I'm Stefan. Oh. It's Stefan Garth. Zuri Brown is my girlfriend. Oh, the starving artist. Poetry isn't the only thing she has good taste in, I see. I think I see her. See you. Catch you later. Way to work the room. <laughs> Miss Viv did not exaggerate your charm. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I learned everything I know from my cousin. In fact, she's been singing your praises. She flat out instructed me to make sure that I hire you to make my house a home. Well, Miss Viv is a very smart woman. 
I'll have my assistant reach out so we can get the ball rolling. Great. Oh, sir, uh, can we get some drinks uh, for the ladies? What will it be? Stefan. Hi. Hey. <laughs> hey, babe, what a surprise. Stefan. You're Stefan, the artist. <laughs> uh, masquerading as a, a caterer. I usually get invited to these things to, you know, help the aristocrats feel relevant. I'm here, I'm my girl. Stefan, uh, Godfrey, Godfrey, Stefan. Quite the party. Look, uh, those donation baskets, they're not gonna fill themselves, so I'll leave you guys to it. Okay. Zuri, I can't wait to see what you're gonna do at my place. You look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> so, I like minimalism, but this is just Spartan. And I think you can give it some life. Godfrey, this place is stunning. <laughs> Come on, let me give you the tour. Um, but you're gonna have to take some heels off. I can't have you messing up my hardwood floor. Oh, the floor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing. Come on. Let's start at the top. After you. And... Most of these wines are Argentine, but I have, oh, wow. I have a few that I picked up in Bordeaux that you have to try. Wow. I'd love to go someday. Yeah. Yeah, you should. What would you like to do with this area? Huh. Probably leopard print and um, neon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> All right, these are just some sketches, but... Um... I was thinking for a color palette, maybe browns and beiges for warmth. Hmm. And then you could add in a little bit of texture with some authentic raw cowhide, maybe some modern mid-century furniture. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> and this is your day rate for the month. And I, I think that's enough to make inroads on some of those amazing ideas. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I can make it stretch. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I feel overdressed. You look amazing. I told you that already. I'm proud to have you on my arm. And Jeans and sweats, let alone looking like that. Whoa, um, order anything you want from the sides, baby. I don't think I can afford the mains. We can go halves. I'm just kidding, baby. You know that. I'm sorry. Really, this is, this is great. So, how'd it go today? Money bags like the color? I keep telling you, his name is Godfrey. And, yeah, it was a hit. The room looks great. Oh, did you talk to Marla about the paintings that she was interested in? We spoke today. And? I was too late. They spent the budget, something about buying out half the Jones Gallery, apparently. But how many times did I say that you needed to move back? Audra to set up that meeting for you. She liked your work, had a lot of office space. You could have made a ton of sales. We don't know that. Do you want to work at a building site forever? This again. I actually like my job. No, you're coasting. And no matter what I say or do, it's like you don't want to keep up with me. Keep up? What are we racing towards? I would like to own a home before having kids. Is that too much to ask? Maybe go on a vacation? Stefan, you are so talented. I, I just want you to live up to your potential. Yeah. 
Ouch, ooh, it's, it's, it's seized right up. Daddy, I've told you a million times, leave the trash. I'll take it out. You know, I hate having you looking after me. You're my pops. I want to look after you. <sighs> you know, even as a little girl, you always wanted to help. <laughs> you know, looking after the dolls, the cats next door. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I always hoped when you grew up that you would find a man to look after you. <sighs> what, baby? Did you and mom ever have doubts that you were right for each other? Well, you know, relationships aren't always sunshine and flowers. We had our rough patches, sure. But I always knew that life would be better with her by my side. Hmm? Stefan and I have been fighting a lot lately. What? Really? What? what, what? We're just so different. He's so... Meaning? Daddy, you did great. And I couldn't have asked for a better pop, but we struggled. If I have kids, I want to make sure that I can spend time with them, give them opportunities, not work every hour just to make ends meet. Stefan loves you, Zuri. I know. But lately I've been feeling less like his woman, more like his mom. I wouldn't dream of telling you how to live your life, honey. But I raised you to be decent and kind. Don't string anyone along. You hear? I hear you, Daddy. I do. You deserve to have a beautiful home. Yeah. I just don't have anybody to share it with. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Zuri. I'm just a man who pursues what he wants. You are smart, beautiful, so talented, and loyal. Look, I, I know that you're trying to work things out with him, and you made that abundantly clear, and I respect that. But I'm saying this as a friend. You have drive. People in your life, they either give you weight or wings. Which one is he? Hmm? The right man by your side? Shh. The sky is a limit with you. Will you fly? Keep your life free from love of money and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Sir? I'm sorry. Keep it. Keep it, really. It, I've got no use for an engagement ring. But the money. You could sell it. Zuri, don't, don't you get it? The money's not important. Never was, never will be. No matter what you wear, what vacation you go on, who your clients are, it'll never be enough to keep you from believing that voice inside your head that keeps telling you that you're not good enough. You don't love him. You just love what he can get you. <laughs> I'm out of here. What am I to you lately? Just tell me I'm the baby. Then both of us are crazy. Why aren't you ready? Uh, am I supposed to be somewhere? There's nothing on my calendar. Pack your bags, cars outside. We're going to the Barbados. <laughs> You're kidding. I'm serious. You're funny. Come on. I'm serious. Really? Let's go do some things in the <laughs> Barbados. <laughs> Come on. Attention, everyone. As you know, I'm not one to mince words, so here it is. We're cutting everyone's hours at the end of the month. Jeff's going to brief. Really am. Or decision. Is there a cut in workflow, too? I know I'm barely getting my tasks done, and I haven't taken a lunch break in over two years. 
as I said, Jeff's going to brief you. And as always, I've got an open door. So come see me if you want to talk one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Jeff. As Rochelle was saying, yeah, I'm going to brief you now on the new policy. Thank you. I didn't know what to pack, so I brought everything. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I have another surprise for you. You are now a member of the board of the Baltimore Literacy Foundation. What? I just need you to sign right on that line. Right? That, if you accept, of course. Really? Really. And this way, you get an actual voice. I love that you are always looking for ways to help me grow. This is going to give your credentials some real weight and appeal to investors as we expand Siri Design and all the other spinoffs. So, are you in? Of course I'm in. <laughs> hey. And in their greed, they will exploit you with false words. Yeah. That's my girl. Let's go. I know. Right. And it's beautiful. It is. Hmm. This is the life I always dreamed of. This is the life you deserve. And more. Let me show you. I just bought these. I'm expanding the company. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and you will get the contracts for the interiors, of course. My CFO is handling the finances. And the competitor just came in with a better offer. And we need to match it by the end of the week, or else the deal's off. What are you gonna do? Well, I was hoping you could help. Me? Yeah, you. As a member of the board, you can co-sign for the release of funds for capital. Okay. Is that why you got me on the board? For this? Siri. I got you on the board because you deserve it. I'm just sorry nobody saw it sooner. I wanted you to grow. Why can't you use your own money? Hey, is something wrong? Maybe. Look around. Do I look broke to you? <laughs> look, we're already in the process of selling off some real estate to raise capital, but that... But what if you lose the money? <laughs> I've been investing money for a long time, and your man is very good and what he does. How long before you put it back? Just a few days. That's all. I'll buy the homes, and you get a contract that's gonna take your company to six figures. Secure your future, Zuri. Our future, baby. The foundation is gonna have enough funding to put kids to college for the next 10 years. So what do you say? Fly with me, partner? You promise it's just a couple of days? So oh, yeah. Oh, Audra, what, what are you? I told her to stay and enjoy her vacation. I'm fine. His arm is broken in three places. His blood pressure is a little low, and he has a minor concussion. Oh. But aside from that, he's fine. Mm -hmm. Because of his age, though, we're going to keep him overnight for observation. Yeah, right. Hmm. You didn't need to come. Are you kidding me? Oscar fed me through most of college. It's my pleasure to be here. <laughs> That's my girl. Mm. <laughs> she told me to say thanks. All right, old timer. You call me if you need anything. I'm gonna come by the house tomorrow and check on you. Thanks, son. So how you been? I've been fine. What? What did you do? Oh, I fell. Oh, 
Girl, the resort was amazing. Godfrey insisted on a seaside view. Mm-hmm. Okay, what is up with you? You've been pissy all day. Nothing's up with me. Meaning? It's Godfrey this and Godfrey that. Godfrey didn't even show up at the hospital. Uh, he had a meeting. And Stefan had a shift that he canceled so he could look after the father of the woman who's just broken his heart. Is he okay? He's putting a brave face on it, but no, not really. Look, it's just gonna take some time. I get it, Zuri. You're throwing him away just like that? I'm not throwing anyone away. We're just not compatible. What happened, Zuri? It was a done deal. That's what you said when you guys moved in together before you were ever married. Okay. What is your problem with Godfrey? I don't know. It's like you are different when you're around him. Just come out and say it. Wow. You have never had to worry about money a day in your life. Yeah, you're right. Maybe that's why I can see the only thing that Godfrey has that Stefan doesn't is a couple of bags. Right there. I won't fight you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Hello? Oh, oh. Oscar, you home? Ooh. Hello? Hey, Stefan. Zuri, Oscar's friend. <laughs> I'm not home. Mm -hmm. We're just in the middle of his physical therapy. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Mm. Don't mind me. Oscar, shall we finish? Just a couple more reps, and then we're done for today. Sure, Pat. Thank you. Easy. Uh, <laughs> that's a nice set. Yeah, uh, a gift from Zuri. She was here last week. Uh, uh, slick Willie. She okay? Well, he didn't stay very long. She bought that. But I'm happy with the old one. Hmm? She seems uh, happy. Mm. How about you? So how's your father? Better. I, I've kept a pat on. She's great. His mobility has improved a lot. Nice watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How's business? Crazy busy with clients. I'm starting a soft furnishings line, and Godfrey is going to set up a meeting with Sizzle. He just bought in the city, and... But, you know, there's always room for improvement. They got the ball rolling for me. <sighs> That's okay. I'll send you an invoice. <laughs> or, to be precise, you can send me an invoice. I don't understand. Send me an invoice for that amount each month from your company, and I'll give you 5% of every transaction. My accountants will handle the books, and we'll forward the money into an offshore account. Where does the money come from? Zuri, do you really want to know that? Look around. This isn't dirty money. I'm a businesswoman. And Godfrey is a businessman. Sometimes you have to make a few moves here and there to keep it moving. So are you in or out? For from the least of them, even to the greatest of them, everyone is greedy for gain. And from the prophet, even to the priest, everyone deals falsely. Make it 10%. When do we start? I got an email asking me to come and discuss my tuition. Okay. Can I get your student number, please? Thank you. Oh. I'm sorry, but there is a balance in your tuition that hasn't been settled. It must be a mistake. That's what it's got on my system. Look, you're not going to be able to attend classes until it's resolved. This is suspended for now. I'm sorry. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure.
Wait till I show Ziri. <laughs> Might be I can even walk her down the aisle. She's getting married <laughs> to Godfrey Anderson? Well, she's hopeful, right? <laughs> and he seems to be all in. Ah, uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Why, do you know him? The home I work at is owned by G. Anderson Enterprise. Ah. Huh. So what is it you're not telling me? Every home I've worked at, they squeeze everything they can from you. But uh, that's usual. But there's something about that place that's different. Ah, uh, nothing. Forget it. I shouldn't have said anything. Wait, wait. Uh -uh. There's nothing to tell. Now, you want to try again? Sure. Yes. All right, on your feet, young man. All right. So there's just a couple more things I want to show you. Okay. Don't worry, this is going to be hung. So what do you think? Love it. In fact, I love everything. And I'm notoriously picky. You? Never. <laughs> mm. Who's the artist? His name is Stefan Gardner. He's an emerging artist. This is good work. Ah. And you're padding the invoices for your clients like I showed you? You're right. Art works. It's almost too easy. Yes, I've been doing this a long time. Hmm. Just watch, listen, and learn. Hmm? <laughs> Can I get you a coffee? I'm actually okay, thank you. All right. Have a seat. Oh. I'm so glad you called. I missed you. Tyrone, everyone. I miss you too, Zuri. You know what I mean. We've known each other a long time. And underneath all this fake-ass flossing, I'm hoping the Zuri I know and love is still there. So I wanted to give you a heads up. OK, if this is about Godfrey, <laughs> damn right it's about Godfrey. Embezzling the Foundation's funds and Lord only knows who else's? No, you've got it all wrong. So why would he hand over the accounts? No one knows what was raised at the last event. I heard it was $2,000 a ticket. 300 guests. OK, Miss Viv and Godfrey bankrolled that whole event. Maybe so, but everyone was there for a cause, and that cause wasn't to line Anderson's pockets. Where's the money, Zuri? You are making some serious accusations. When that house burns, Zuri, you're going to burn with it. I'm warning you. Get out now. I'm gonna do just that. And you know what else? Before the designer clothes and the fancy car, you actually had way more class. Do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. He says that bad company influences your character. And I'm standing here like the Apostle Paul did with the Corinthian church, saying, come to yourself. Why? Because before you leave here, I want you to know that there is never a bad time to be good. Now, in a few seconds, you're going to get the opportunity to worship the Lord in giving. And what I want you to do is worship the spirit of generosity as our team plays softly. Let's give. I'm so happy to be here, Daddy. You. I know, I'm sorry. I've just been so busy. I didn't want to guilt trip you. I I'm just so glad that your business is doing so well. So, uh, everything okay with, uh, Slit, Godfrey? I'm really happy. You can always come home. You know that, don't you? I know you don't like him, Daddy, but he's really, he's really good for me. He's helped me a lot. Okay, as long as you know. Thank you. Where did that money come from? Miss Anderson did not tell me she was expecting you. That's because she's not. Excuse me. Is she here? No. I will seek Miss Anderson. Excuse me. He who profits illicitly troubles his own house, but he who hates bribes will live. Sorry, Mom. I tried to stop her. No, no, it's okay, Clayton. Uh, thank you. Let's do it, Mom.
Well, what a lovely surprise. Please, sit. It's fine. I'm not staying. Is something wrong? I just came to tell you that I'm done with the invoicing. From here on out, I'm running a clean business. <laughs> I think you're confused, Zuri. You don't get to say when you're done. You wouldn't have a business if it wasn't for me. That's not true. You opened a lot of doors, but... I made you. You were nothing but a pawn from Go. An insecure, greedy little something. I read lacking your way up my drive. This is ugly. Mm. I told you I'm done, and now I'm leaving. Well, how do you think your clients are going to feel when they find out you've been swindling them? Mm. You're in way too deep, and this isn't the movies. Uh -uh. You don't get to just walk away. in some really serious stuff. And I'm mixed up in two and two, Daddy. Deep. There's always a way out. No, no, no. This is a dark hole, Daddy. I don't know how I'm gonna climb out of this. You're a grown woman, Zuri. And it pains me to stand by and let you make your own decisions. I was ready for you to come to me. <laughs> We're going to figure this out together. I'm sorry, Daddy. Together. I'm sorry, Daddy. You okay? Not really. Now I want you to tell me everything you know about G. Anderson Enterprises and how they run their homes. I don't know anything for sure. What do you think you know? Pat, you've been caring for me for a few months now, and I know how you play. If you even have a hunch, then you're likely on to something. And I want all the information I can get to protect my daughter. Okay. Good, let's talk about it. Hey, babe, what's, what's up? What? Tell me it's not true. Are you, are you out of your damn mind? The tuition fees, why haven't they been paid? That's being handled. So it's true. You stole the money? Whoa. You told me that you were gonna put it back right away. I didn't steal anything. Then why is everyone acting like the money just disappeared? It'll clear the Foundation's accounts by tomorrow. It should have been today, but I was on a call, and I missed the cutoff time. And I'm the only one that can do the transfer, remember? I don't believe you. Wow. Oh, man. Look, as promised, with interest. By tomorrow, all the students' tuition will be paid for the whole academic year. Here now is the man who did not make God his stronghold, but trusted in his great wealth and grew strong by destroying others. Like a partridge that hatches eggs it did not lay, are those who gain riches by unjust means. When their lives are half gone, their riches will desert them, and in the end, they will prove to be fools. I found out the truth about Godfrey. Turns out 
G. Anderson Enterprises is involved in some serious shade. Medicaid fraud spanning years and millions of dollars. Look, I have photos of everything. When I leave, I'm, I'm taking the documents with me. I'm gonna need a, a lawyer and a shovel to take my way out of this one. You and that dude? I, I honestly didn't know that it was this dark, but I knew that what I was doing was wrong and illegal. I chose to look away. A lot. No. I think I fell for it. the princess dream. yourself out to get rich. Do not trust your own cleverness. Cast but a glance at riches, and they are gone. For they will surely sprout wings and fly off to the sky like an eagle. to Viv today. Where's my money? <laughs> That's not your money, sweetie. No, I earned that money. Through kickbacks and side hustles? I'd say over half of what's in that account is income generated by me and Viv. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Really? I want to know. Well, because I didn't want you to do anything silly. Because I needed insurance while I clean up this mess. You know, all this time that we've been sleeping in the same bed, it's because I truly believed that we were gonna be husband and wife. Mm. What was I to you? <laughs> Sorry. Every relationship in my life is transactional. Everyone has a purpose. Everyone has a use. What did you think? That we were just gonna ride off into the sunset like Bonnie and Clyde? You were useful. You were a great way to launder money. I didn't even have to persuade you. I didn't even show you anything of myself that wasn't superficial. You were ruthless. Ambitious. Greedy. If I'm greedy. Free Anderson, you are in a league all your own. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Because you are definitely not in my league. I need a real hustler by my side. It has been a steep learning curve. I've betrayed almost everyone who trusts me. God forgives everything. There's no mistakes, only lessons. But 
What did you think you were gaining? Validation. And you got what? I lost everything. Well, it doesn't look like that to me. It seems like we gotta lose the negative mindset. But all the other stuff, it's just stuff. God's working on something for you right now. But you gotta think about what you do have. Redemption. What if I don't deserve it? Sir, so you're God's child. That alone is what makes you deserving. Let's pray. Come on. Dear God, protect and guide Siri with your light. Clear a path in front of her so that she may walk in truth and service. Mm. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Shh, keep it down. Don't like the neighbors. Come on. Look, this room is for the foreseeable huh, Oscar. You grab the bed, I take the couch. I'll uh call you first thing, okay, Dad? Thank you. This is the only place that God for you. You can stay too, Zuri. Really. You know, double up with your pops. No, I'm okay. I really didn't deserve you. Thanks again. Believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position. But the rich should take pride in their humiliation since they will pass away like wildflower. The offshore money is clean. It's the homes where we're vulnerable. The only flaws with billing, and lucrative as it was, is the paper trail. And there's no way around that. I only see one way out of this. We get out of here. I have passport ready. I got one for you, too. Get out of here? Like, run? Yeah. Run from my home? Run from everything I built? Godfrey, you were raised in privilege. I was not. You don't come from a shack in the woods to a mansion in Baltimore without getting your hands a little grimy from time to time. I see another solution. We get rid of the problem. Wait, 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 wait. hold up. She's powerless. Fam, she's powerless. She has no money. She has no clients. When we're done, her reputation is going to be in tatters. She can't incriminate us without putting herself in center frame. And I know her. She's way too selfish for that. I've taken care of this. She's done. And that's a gamble you want to take. What if she does talk years in a federal prison? You'll be an old man by the time they let you go. An old, broke man. Why don't we just talk about this tomorrow after you had a chance to calm down? Sit your ass down. OK. So how? How do we do this? Do you have someone that you... Rule number one. We don't trust no one. We take care of this ourselves. Such are the paths of all those who go after ill-gotten gain. It takes away the life of those who get it. Godfrey? Sherry, are you ready to talk? I have nothing to say to you. I have your money. Uh, I just took out what's mine. I earned that money. How dare you put your slimy hands in my pocket? Look, do you want it or not? I, I was angry, and you hurt me, and you turned on me just like that. I didn't turn on you, Godfrey. I just didn't want to be part of all this shadiness. Well, that's what it felt like. Look, I never told you, but Cousin Viv, she raised me. And she's like a sister to me. And I'm very protective of my family, Zuri. And I lashed out, and, and I, I'm really sorry. By lashed out, do you mean stole my money? I was always going to give it back. I told you that. Look, you Zuri, 
How long did we sleep in the same bed? Huh? Did I ever treat you with anything less than respect? Did I ever hurt you? What about Pat? I know you had her beaten up. Pat? Y your dad's nurse, Pat? Why would I do that? Look, I found that little chain oh, you used to wear. My mom's cross? I don't know if it's your mom's cross, but I know it's that, that little chain you used to wear when I first met you. I'll come by in an hour. No, no, no. Come by tonight, because it's going to take me a little time to get the money, and I'll have it by 10 p.m. Look, do what you want, Zuri, but just swing by, get the cash, and leave. You can just feed the money through the window. Sir, are you for real? For real, for real. Here's the necklace. Here's the money. Viv! Get out of the car, Zuri. Get out of the car. Viv, what's the plan? Shut up. Let's go. Viv, what? Viv, what are you doing? I'm handling my business. Because oh. if you just took care of yours, we wouldn't be here. She already went to the cops, Godfrey. I got an informant who told me so. Well, why didn't you come to me and tell me when you found out? She's about to bring down a whole lot of rumble on your head and mine. She got a tip. And you know from who? A nurse who worked for her dad. Now, I had the nurse head off, thinking she'd back up and mine her own. But my god, we're talking about a nurse and a decorator here. Turns out, the nurse worked for Westgate. Ooh. You didn't notice, huh, Godfrey? Because you never were good with the details. Big picture man, huh? That's you. Oh. It... You didn't see this in your picture? Hmm? Why? Why are you doing this? Because it's either me or you. <laughs> see? Now I really talked through everything I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What you gonna do? You gonna kill me? No, no, no. We're family. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna make it look like you killed your damn son. What's, what's happening? What's going on? It's Zira. She's not answering her phone. Mm -hmm. She's not answering her phone? Yeah. Can I get you something? I need some more milk. Man, the last time I looked, I wasn't five years old. Man, I'm telling you, there's something wrong. Uh, all right. Karima gave me Godfrey's address. I'll check on Zuri. Probably feeling a little woozy. Fit and all. Yeah. I used to be a nurse, remember? It's a very powerful opiate. I put a speck on your tongue and it disappeared just like that. But a speck more, you'd be dead. But what'd be the fun of that? Yeah. Hi. You know, I'm gonna go dramatic for you. Yeah. Let's see. Killed in a house fire after a violent struggle with her ex, who you betrayed. Yeah, who then put a bullet through his own skull. Bingo. I like that. Hmm. Yeah. I'll be hiding here for you. 
somehow I believe you like it hot. Dear Lord, thank you for all of my blessings. Sorry! 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 Thank you, Mr. Stefan, and his generosity. Don't turn around. Put your hands wiped the sand. Huh. <laughs> and thank you for guiding Zuri back towards the light. May you continue to watch over her, illuminating her path with love and light. Amen. Now, how are we gonna do this? Because it needs to look like a suicide. And I sense the reluctance to put the gun in your mouth. You're a psychopath. No, I'm a survivor. This ex-girlfriend and the new man. <laughs> Hell is old as time. And good headlines. Now, devil's in the details. Just a speck of this on your skin, and you'll be incapacitated. Sorry! Sorry! Now listen, you rich people. Weep and wail because of the misery that is coming on you. Your wealth has rotted and moths have eaten your clothes. Your gold and silver are corroded fire. You have hoarded wealth in the last days. Everyone comes naked from their mother's womb. And as everyone comes, so they depart. They take nothing from their toil that they can carry in their hands. Quick, listen to the news. Baltimore power players Cassandra Vivian Anderson and Godfrey Anderson were convicted today and sentenced to a life sentence and 25 years respectively for their part in murder, fraud and embezzlement across a number of businesses spanning decades. Cassandra Vivian Anderson was implicated in the execution of Baltimore businessman Don Jackson. A number of whistleblowers came forward to authorities. Back to you. Yes, I was just calling to confirm that you received the final repayment. Great. Oh, is this uh, 
Job interview. Audition. What? Thanks for coming. There's never anybody here on the weekends, and I'm still at my dad's. This is a conversation that I wanted to have in private. What's done is done. We don't need to do a post-mortem. I know, but you do deserve an apology. I am so sorry, Stefan. That you deserve. 